Hunter, we begin tonight with people in Stamford again demanding action, upset that the suspect in a hit and run that left two loved ones dead has not been arrested. In a story that we've been following all week, we're now hearing from the chief of police on this case. He spoke exclusively with News 12 Connecticut's Mark Sudall. Four flowers and candles have been placed here at the scene of the accident from over the weekend. Another night that family members will still have questions. Now the community is taking action. It has been five days since the double fatal accident with no charges filed against the driver. And that has a growing number of people upset. People in Stanford have started this petition asking that the Connecticut State Attorney file charges for the deaths of Giovanni Vega Benes and Juliana Arias Lozano. Maria Garrido's two boys lost their father. I'm really happy that the community, you know, is, is getting together to, to get justice for my kids, my kids' father. Police say Benes and Lozano were hit while crossing the street in the crosswalk early Saturday morning on their way home from work. The Mercedes that hit them, police say, was driven by Michael Talbot, who fled the scene and was later found hiding behind a dumpster. Stanford Police Chief Tim Shaw told me by phone today that police are waiting until they have all the information they need to form a solid case against Talbot. Shaw says if police make an arrest too early, it would not be beneficial to the prosecution. University of New Haven law professor Michael Lawler gave us his perspective. He is a nationally recognized expert on criminal justice reform and was Governor Malloy's undersecretary for criminal justice policy. It seems like it would have been a no-brainer to charge this uh, driver with evading responsibility in this situation the minute he was confronted. Um, so that's a decision that gets made on site by the responding officers. And again, police say they are gathering as much data and evidence as they can, which takes time before they can make an arrest. Mayor Caroline Simmons released a statement today offering condolences to the families and also saying that these investigations do take time and she asks for everyone's patience. We couldn't reach Michael Talbot today for comment. In Stanford, Mark Sudol, News 12 Connecticut.